Hey guys, what's going on? It's your old pal CHH here, the one and only, your old pal CHH. And guys, we have got some amazing, amazing. releases to talk about coming up. It's going to be a expensive holiday season. When I say holiday, I mean Halloween season. But yeah, guys, so we're getting ready to um, look at these. Now, I want to preface this by saying I am using the Disc Father because, quite frankly, they've been extremely reputable and they're like sometimes beating dawn of the discs in terms of announcements what do they know who do they know but they've been bringing up a lot of great stuff and uh a lot of steel books a lot of re-releases a lot of cool releases on stuff that you might already own and stuff you might have missed out on you'll be glad you missed out on but we're gonna jump right into it guys with an amazing release the first one to look at right here is um criterion's putting this out Later this year, uh, this is The Others, uh, the Nicole Kidman film, 2001. I like this movie. And honestly, I'm pretty excited to get this. I own a DVD of this movie, and uh, this is a 4K. And it's nice to have a movie that you know I'm, I'm extremely familiar with from my childhood. I was always a fan of The Others, really liked it. Uh, so yeah, that's coming out. It's saying the 24th of October is the release date from Criterion. Uh, in terms of special features, I don't know what to expect or what we'll get but even if it's not the greatest 4k just the fact that i only have a dvd of this it's going to be exciting not only to own in a nice release but revisit it again so that's something i'm extremely excited about is getting the others um i don't know let me know if you grew up with that movie and what you thought about it but i i i always liked it i was always a big fan of it all right so uh the disc father is saying that 20th century studios is in fact going to be making a 4k and blu-ray of prey the latest um, Predator movie, which quite frankly I think is one of the only good sequels. I really liked Prey, and um, I'm hoping we get a nice release of that. Now, whether this happens or not, that remains to be seen, uh, but I am excited about this nonetheless, so let's hope that the Disc Father is on to something, and he does have information that we don't, and we are in fact getting Prey, because that'll be very exciting. I'd love to own that. I like that movie. Now we got to get Barbarian. A few other things he brought up right here was Toho is apparently releasing 4Ks of Godzilla. I would imagine Criterion would do that in America. Uh, but maybe not. Maybe Toho is, you know, you know, I don't, I don't know. Let's see. That's neither here or there, you know. All right, so here's something really cool I wanted to talk about. So we're getting these cool Walmart, almost like 30s and 40s horror style poster uh steel books for uh some movies so as you can see one of the ones we have here on the top is a saw collection now i'm going to anticipate that's going to be one through spiral uh so i don't know then we have a blair witch and the blair witch project so you're getting that 2016 film and the original that's pretty cool i like that and then below we have the firefly trilogy which, oh, like, I, I like that, and it's just like, Christian, how many versions of that are you going to need? Because I got that really nice Target one that came out, like, two years ago that was really nice. And I mean really nice. So, I don't know. The Blair Witch and Blair Witch Project one I really, really like, though. And that's it's great. I don't know. But I think it's pretty cool. I mean, what do you guys think? You know, and these are all uh, Walmart exclusives coming out on the 12th, 9-12. So September, September, uh, we have more. Um, this is interesting. We have a leprechaun collection and we have a Rob Zombies Halloween one and two. I gotta be honest. I effing love it. I really do. I like that a lot. These come out on the 12th as well. Um, now what versions of these films are going to be on there, guys? I'm going to anticipate the director's cuts for the Halloween's one and two. You know, that's what, I, that's what I'm guessing. Um, but it's nice. I like to, you know, maybe we'll get some 4K action with Rob Zombie's Halloween's this year. But then again, maybe not. Because, you know, if Lionsgate's doing this themselves, I, you know, I just don't know. It's bittersweet because it's like I am a sucker and I like this kind of stuff. And I think a lot of people, if the prices are right on them, they don't mind grabbing stuff like this. That's kind of cool and a, moment, a momentum of the time and everything. But, um, Makes me think maybe we're not getting those Rob Zombie one and two four Ks this year. You know, you know we'll see. That'll that'll be interesting. So we do have that going on, which is which is cool. You know, it's cool. Um, but listen, there's a lot. Walmart is like really jumping into the steelbook game. These are even more Walmart exclusives. Now these are 
coming out. This is saying uh, the street date for this is uh, November. But, you know, there's a Psycho Gorman, which I do not really recommend. I wasn't a big fan of that. Pretty cool color out of space steelbook. Um, good movie. Really good movie. Uh, I don't know. If this is 4K, I might be down for it. Uh, we'll see. I think it's just... I, I think that's a, ultra, a 4K Ultra HD logo I see right there on the side. So maybe I'm going to get luck. I think I think that's what that is. So that would be nice if it's 4K. Cause I, I wouldn't mind getting that in 4K. Um, and then we've got Werewolves Within, which I'm excited about because I like that movie. It's a comedy, horror comedy, werewolf one. Then this Bone Tomahawk one and The Man Who Killed Hitler and then Bigfoot. Those are both great movies, like really good movies. So I don't know. I'm pretty excited. Let me drop a like right there. So I'm pretty excited about those three of these down here. So, guys, what's up with that? Walmart's coming out swinging. Got a lot to talk about, guys. So here, here you'll see we get Rosemary's Baby getting a Paramount 4K. I don't know. Like, I'm really not a big fan of this movie at all. But I think my wife is. So I don't know what I'm going to do. This guy, look at this person. No Blu-ray included. WTF Paramount. 4K Ultra HD plus Blu-ray. What are you talking about? It's right there, buddy. <laughs> it's on the cover right, right there. There's a Blu-ray logo. Yes, this is getting a, a Blu-ray as well, but I don't know, guys. I mean, you be the judge of that. I'm just letting you know that Rosemary's Baby is, in fact, coming out on on 4K from Paramount. Uh, the release date for that is supposed to be 1010. Here's the big stuff. Scream 3. Now, also, they're releasing a triple pack 4k collection of scream one two and three now this leads me to believe that maybe paramount does not and will not be doing scream four uh that was under the wine scene umbrella not miramax so that is something interesting um i am excited to get scream three on 4k i do like scream three but i'm a little bummed that they didn't stick with the original color palette of black for that and um you know it's a red steel book am i gonna get the steel book yes because i got the steel book for one and two and i'd hate to just break the tradition but um i actually highly implore all you people to try to pick this up because i think scream 3 is actually a good movie now after watching it i was one of those people that would just kind of say uh for years and years until i finally would watch it and i'd be like no i actually like this movie i love it though they got lance henriksen in there roger corman's in there and i have so much love and adoration for that but uh yeah scream 3 i knew this was happening that's coming out on 10 3 from paramount are you guys noticing a pattern here? Who's supporting physical media? Walmart and Paramount. You guys are noticing this, right? Like, it's crazy. They're putting releases of everything. Paramount's the best. They always do that. And this is something a lot of people are probably going to be bummed about. Uh, here's the thing. I'm excited. I am, I am in fact, a physical, Friday the 13th physical media collector in general. I like to catalog all the releases that come out as I can as they come out because it's just my thing you know but i know a lot of people probably really bummed out as am i that we're not getting friday the 13th part 2 on 4k this year maybe we will still you know there's still time for announcements it's it's still july um but the interesting thing is this steel book for friday the 13th comes with the waxwork um eyeball vinyl artwork as a slip cover so i mean maybe that's incentive for some people maybe not for others you know but it is what it is i'm just here to let you know but uh, this is, says release date's October. Maybe they'll put it out for the 13th of October, which is also my wedding anniversary. I got married on a Friday the 13th in 2017. And five years later, we have another Friday the 13th on October 13th. So, guys, be sure to drop a comment below and wish me a happy wedding anniversary. Even though it's already July, only July, just let me know now. That way you don't forget. Maybe we'll get part two and, yeah, you know, we'll see. So, I think that's about everything I want to show for now. The only thing, like I said, I don't have a picture of it here. But just know that Scream 3 is also going to have a triple pack. So you can be able to buy a triple pack 4K set. If you never made the jump on Scream for 4K, which I extremely recommend. They're some of the best 4Ks that I've seen Paramount do for 90s films, especially. You know, they look really good. So I highly recommend getting the triple pack if you haven't bought any and you're fine with having a triple box like that. But if you've continued to buy, I, I would anticipate Scream 3 looking just as good as Scream 1 and 2 did on 4K. They looked sensational, quite frankly. So a lot to get ready for, guys. And by the way, Freaks is getting a 4K from Criterion, the 1930s film. Thank you guys for watching. It's your old pal CHH. 
take care. Huge giant thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Without you guys, this would not be possible. To get behind the scenes photos, videos, music, private live streams, and much more, you can subscribe to my Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. Thank you to my patrons.